They are two men in different timelines who have become Laura's mentors. One of them is Werner von Croy, a famous archaeologist. He is the one who inspired Laura to become interested in archaeology. Through the influence of her father's money, Laura was able to be Werner's assistant during an expedition to Cambodia. On this trip, Laura learned several things with Werner and the two have a strange relationship because they speak with a lot of irony to each other. In the end, Laura proved to be more wise or wiser than her mentor. And so the pupil excels the master. I congratulate you on your agility. Take your prize from the plinth. You have earned it. In the time it took you to find your way here, I've examined the inscriptions. It warns of vengeance on those who remove it. Ah, ancient hocus pocus. Forget this nonsense and come over here. I don't count poison darts and triggered entombment, your average child's tea party. I feel we should lend this some respect. Ah, and you are the world famous archaeologist adventurer Lara Croft, yeah? No, no, I am the renowned archaeologist adventurer Werner von Croy, and you will do as I say. Go to the wall and pull the lever. What was it you said? Disrespect is the route to carelessness? I am weary of this. Pull the lever now, Miss Croft. On your head be it, Von Croy. You will learn more than simple... known how, but he managed to get out of there with the artifact, but he got hurt in his leg. A few years later, Werner, who is in a wheelchair, sees Laura again through his company security cameras. She was trying to steal the Iris artifact and managed to do so. Later the two meet again in Egypt and this time are trying to get the amulet of Horus, being rivals. Werner seems to be better because he traded the wheelchair for a cane. Werner goes far as kidnap Lara's friend, John, in exchange for the artifacts that Lara had managed to obtain. Soon after, he is possessed by Set. Lara manages to save her friend and later finds Set in the body of Werner who asks her for the armor of Horus and in return he would give her power. Lara doesn't trust him and runs away. Werner reappears when Lara is trying to escape from the collapsing temple. He is normal again and tries to help her but Lara ends up falling. After this scene we see that despite the rivalry between them, the two consider themselves friends. At the end of Tomb Raider 5, or Tomb Raider Chronicles, we learn that Werner is digging the area to find Laura, but only finds her backpack. And finally, in Tomb Raider Angel of the Darkness, Werner discovers that Laura is alive and invites her to go to his house. This is because he messed with dangerous people and wanted Laura to help him find some artifacts. Laura was still resentful because she believed that he didn't look for her after being trapped in the temple ruins on Tomb Raider 4. A Nepheline disguised as an alchemist named Eckhart appears at Werner's house and attacks Laura who falls unconscious and then he kills Werner as he no longer needs his services. The police begin to pursue Laura suspecting that she was the killer. And their story ends like this. There is a scene that was cut on YouTube that shows Laura kissing the face of Werner, that was already dead, as a farewell. Rot is a very professional and reputable hunter treasure. Before that, he was 
in the military, where he met Grimm, who also became a treasure hunter. Laura's father hired Rod as a guide and guard on his expeditions. Over time, the two became good friends. Years later, Rod created a father and daughter relationship with Laura, as her father paid no attention to her due to his obsession with researching things related to immortality after his wife died in a plane crash. The necklace that Laura wears represents her first discovery. She went to show it to Roth, who, with a showlace, turned it to, into a necklace. When Laura's father died, Roth became responsible for her. He taught her several practical things like climbing. In the meantime, he got involved with Reyes, who got pregnant, but she hid the pregnancy and never told him that he had a daughter. Roth was very proud of Laura, as if she was the daughter that he never had, ironically. I believe that Reyes is rude to Laura because she kinda replaced his true daughter. I, I know it's stupid, but oh well. Being 21 years old, Laura goes on a trip led by Roth because the Endurance ship was his. And so, he was the captain and made the decisions. Roth's goal was to get enough money for retirement. To find Imiko's island, he decided to follow Laura's directions instead of Hitman, thus showing how much he trusted her. The ship sinks and ends up on an island where there is a dangerous cult. Roth encourages Laura to try to survive on her own until she reaches him, as they had been separated in the shipwreck. When Laura finds him, he was being attacked by wolves, but manages to scare them away. Laura approaches this and sees that he is injured. She retrieves the first aid kit that was stolen by the wolves and takes care of Roth's wound. After that, the two meet and separate a few times. Roth saves Laura from enemies using a sniper, helping her to cross a bridge so that she can save Sam. Their last encounter is in a helicopter that crashes. The two survive, but the pilot does not. They never survive in video games. Near the wreckage, Rod finds Lara and tries to reanimate her. He succeeds, but she's too weak to get up. Rod helps her, but Matthias appears with the Solari and throws an axe at them. To protect Lara, Rod turns on his back to be the one who gets hit. Before he dies, he encourages Lara once again to not give up. I can't do this without you. I'm sorry, Lara. I'm sorry. You can do this. You're a craft. <laughs> <laughs> Lara is shaking and takes some time to overcome his death. The rest of the group finds them and Reyes also feels bad about his death. The group gives him a funeral, Brock dies without knowing that he has a daughter with Reyes, which is really sad. Now I'm going to compare them about a few things, not much, and the first one is that Werner was more of an idol for Lara, while Roth was like a father. Werner appears in Tomb Raider 4, Tomb Raider 5 and Tomb Raider Angel of the Darkness. Roth only appears in Tomb Raider 2013. When Lara was younger, Werner would call her child a lot, while Roth would call her girl. Both of them have an interesting story but I think they could have been a bit more developed. I also think that the rivalry between Lara and Werner is due to the fact that he is afraid that she will become better than him, taking into consideration some of the things he says at the beginning of Tomb Raider 4. I have no preference for either of them, so I don't know, do you like them? Say it in the comments. Also don't forget to leave a like, to subscribe to the channel 
and until next time, bye bye!